Hey, first grade today, you need to get a messy paper, one sheet of white paper, and a paintbrush. And of course, we always start off by putting our name on the back of our sheet of paper. Mr. Calvert, and you are my one, and either A, B, or C. And I'm going to flip that over. Today, we're going to start with the background inspired by Miss Alma Thomas. So you're going to choose a color. I'm going to start with orange. Dip your paintbrush in, and I'm going to paint a circle. Don't make it too super duper huge. Do a nice job with it. You can either start with one circle and just have it kind of radiate out or go out to the edges, or you could do a couple different ones. I think I'm actually gonna do a couple different ones. Obviously, I don't just have to stick with orange. I could do my other circle in a different color. And when I'm finished with that, I'm going to clean off my brush. Remember, tab it on the bottom. All right, so you're not stirring it around. When you're done with that, make sure to wipe it on the sponge. And I can pick another color. Like I'm going to do some green. So we're going to be painting concentric circles, which means that it's a little circle, and then a little bit bigger circle, and a little bit bigger circle, and a little bit bigger circle, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So I could do something like this. I could keep it kind of thin. Careful not to mix it. You can see mine accidentally mixed a little bit. I could keep it a real thin circle like that one. And maybe down here, I'm going to do a little bit thicker one. Now, I don't have to make both these circles look the same. Just because I use green up here doesn't mean that I have to use green down here. I could have done a different color. I'm going to make this one nice and thick. So I'm actually going to go two times around. Cleaning out my brush. Wiping it on the sponge. Remember, the sponge isn't to get the paint off. It's to get the water off. Maybe I'll do some blue. Same thing. Doing a concentric circle. When you get about this far, you've got a whole bunch of concentric circles. Remember that's a little circle inside of a little bit bigger circle, inside of a little bit bigger circle, inside of a little bit bigger circle. Um, you can either just fill in the rest of the background with one color, or you can keep doing circles all the way out to the edge of your paper. It's up to you. But I do need to see a lot of circles, a lot of different colors, all right? But I will leave it up to you whether you paint the rest of this just one color or concentric circles. All right, when you are this far, you are finished for the day. Make sure to put your brush back in the brush bin. Always make sure to clean it off in the water and wipe it on the sponge before you switch colors. If you're the last person, put the lids back on your paints and your artwork needs to go on the drying rack. Make sure that there is a messy paper underneath, underneath it.